Pickett's Unexplainable Brown Rice. First, you cook your rice. Second step, uh, either while your rice is cooking or after, doesn't matter, uh, get some sausage. We like the spicy Italian sausage. I like sausage. I like sausage. <laughs> Now, the sausage is nice and cooked, and I like to get it really, really browned, um, and maybe even over browned, so you got some crispy bits in there. And now you get to incorporate the rice with the sausage. Really, there isn't much of a recipe here. Um, it's kind of just mix things together as it seems like it should be. If you like a little bit more sausage, have some more sausage. If you like some more rice, have some more rice. Fuck it, do whatever you want. This is your dinner. So then, you just kind of add rice to the point that you like, that it just seems like it's right. Um, I had four cups of uh, cooked rice, and I didn't add it all to the pound of sausage. I have probably you know, a good solid cup and a half or more rice left. I'll probably make that into um, rice pudding. So yeah, just whatever feels right. So first and foremost, this is a subsistence meal. So Charity's dad, uh, would just throw whatever they had uh, into it. Um, and it never really stayed the same, and it was always about just trying new little things. And um, uh, But there was a few items that were always, always in it. So here's like the main core ingredients that goes in every uh, brown rice. You got the brown sugar and garlic powder, cinnamon, soy sauce, salt and pepper and eggs. Um, it's a sweet and savory dish. It's got lots of sodium, lots of salt in it. Sometimes he would put Worcestershire sauce instead of soy sauce. Uh, sometimes both soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce. Um, sometimes uh, season all or, uh, or the spice, uh, the, the seasoned salt. Um, it's like whatever he had, he would throw into it. But but the point is, it is a, uh, like a sweet, sweet, salty, savory, not Asian-y uh, dish. And from here, we're not gonna be measuring anything. It's all just to taste. I know, and it's gonna look like a fuck ton of brown sugar. Cause it is. Oh, shit. That's probably right. And then... That's probably good. Yeah. Yeah. Why it's called brown rice is because it turns brown. It really gets the brown color from, um, I think mostly from the brown sugar, but it also then really darkens up with the... Um, <clears throat> cinnamon as well and sometimes uh, I add uh, red pepper flakes um, the kids never liked it really really hot um, I don't know if Charity liked it very hot or not I know uh, Charity's dad would sometimes add red pepper flakes um, and uh, why the hell let's just do it All right, now you taste it. You know, it should be a good balance. It shouldn't be too sweet. It shouldn't be too salty. Right now, it's a little too sweet. So that means it needs more soy sauce. Okay, now the last and final piece right before it's ready to be eaten is adding the egg and for that turn the heat back on 
<clears throat> I'm gonna make a little spot here as Doug would do. No. No. So hard to do one handed, but I dug the shell out. Now, just mix that egg in there, just like you would for like a fried rice, I guess. And there we have Pickett's Unexplainable Brown Rice. Charity, would you like to do the honor? Tell me if I did a good job. You good? Mm-hmm. Excellent.